be reading you A Little Bit Brave by Nicola Curian. Logan was a stay-at-home bunny. His friend Luna was the daring one. She had new adventures every day. They sounded quite exciting, but rather frightening too. So whenever Luna said, come out with me, it's fun. Logan said, oh no, I'll never go outside. It's far too scary. At last, Luna had had enough. You have to come out with me. No, said Logan. You're no fun, said Luna. I'm too scared, said Logan. Sometimes, Logan, you just have to be a little bit brave, shouted Luna, and she stomped out. Logan tried to have a normal morning. He watered his indoor plants. He dusted his shell collection. He baked some biscuits, but nothing felt right. He was very upset. Luna had never been angry with him before. I have to make it up with her right away, he thought. There was just one problem. Luna was outside. It would be an adventure and Logan had never had one of those. He had no idea what to pack so he took a snorkel, a torch and a tin of biscuits. Then he put on his favourite scarf, plucked up all his courage and tiptoed her out. It was strange and noisy in the woods. There was a flapping and scurrying, tweeting and rustling. I knew it would be scary, thought Logan. He took a deep breath, deep breath and called, Luna! There was no reply. But lots of animals, other animals scampered up. Luna? They said, she's the bravest bunny in the world. She dives into the river to collect shells, says an otter. She rides around the forest on my back, said a deer. She explores the deep, dark caves and goes looking for bears, said a fox. That sounds so scary, said Logan. But if you don't think things too, said a mouse, perhaps you'll find her. So that's exactly what Logan did. First he dived into the river. Splash! Brrr, it was chilly. It was lucky he packed a snorkel. There was a whole new world underwater. Logan saw fish and frogs and snails, but he didn't see Luna. Then he rode off with a deer. Whoosh! My, it was fast! And was lucky he had brought his scarf to help him hold on. There was a whole new world in the woods. He saw sparrows and squirrels and butterflies, but he didn't see Luna. Then he tiptoed into a cave. <coughs> it was lucky he packed his torch. There was a whole new world in the dark. He saw bats and spiders and sleeping bears, but he didn't see Luna. <coughs> Logan was amazed at all the things he'd done. If only I could find Luna, he said, she would be really proud of me. He was so chuffed, he decided to have a biscuit. But before he could open the tin, he heard a shout. Stay back, you wicked wolf! That voice sounded very familiar. In fact, it sounded just like Luna! Oh no, a huge hungry wolf was trying to eat her. Logan hid behind a tree. Suddenly he didn't feel brave at all. I want to go home, he whimpered. But he couldn't let Luna be eaten. So he picked up his biscuits, plucked up all his courage and ran. No, he cried. Don't eat Luna. was very surprised. Biscuits? He said, 
I don't mind if I do. And he gobbled up the whole lot. The wolf was very friendly after that. That was amazing, cried Luna. When did you become so brave? I think it started this morning, said Logan, when I was baking biscuits. Luna laughed. Shall we go home and bake some more? I'd like that, said Logan, but first, we need another adventure. This is the end of this book. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.